All right, scholars, we're going to add some more to our quadrilateral notes. So if you'll turn to page 38, and you're going to go to the back of 37, and we're going to do another graphic organizer to organize our quadrilaterals. Turn your book to the side so that it's horizontal. On this red line right here, you're going to write quadrilaterals, and just as a reminder, that is any four-sided figure. Right below that, you're going to write parallelograms, okay? Parallelograms are a special kind of quadrilateral where they have two pairs of parallel lines. Over here to the side, you're going to write rhombuses, that they have all equal sides. Squares have all equal sides and four right angles. And if you remember from your triangle page, a right angle is when it makes a little square in the corner. Like that. Hey, this is a right angle. A recta and rectangles have four right angles and opposite sides are equal length. Hey, down here at the bottom, you have that trapezoids are have one pair of parallel lines. Okay, we're going to group these together based on their um, attributes, their characteristics, and we're going to um, organize them that way, the same way we talked about yesterday. So first of all, you're going to draw a big circle around all your words. Okay, all of these are quadrilaterals. All of these figures, trapezoid squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and rhombuses have four sides. Next, inside that first big circle, you're going to put a little circle around trapezoids. Okay? And you're going to put another circle around parallelograms, rhombuses, squares, and rectangles. Okay, the reason you're circling these in different groups is because trapezoids are a, are a quadrilateral that only have one pair of parallel lines. Why parallelograms, rhombuses, squares, and rectangles all have two pairs of parallel lines. So that's why those are being grouped together that way. So all of these in the blue circle have two pairs of parallel lines. The green circle has one pair of parallel lines. Okay. Then you're going to put a circle around rhombuses and squares because both of these have all equal sides. Finally, you're going to put a square around rectangles and uh, a circle around rectangles and squares because rectangles have four right angles and the opposite sides are equal length and squares have four right angles and all of their sides are equal so their opposite sides are equal length too. Okay, so this is our, going to be our, another way to represent what we did on our first page, on the page 38, but just to see it in another way so that you can realize all of these shapes are quadrilaterals. Trapezoids are the only one with one pair of parallel lines. All of these have two pairs of parallel lines, but rhombuses have all equal sides and squares have all equal sides, but squares have all four right angles and so do rectangles. Okay, so you're going to use um, this graphic organizer here, and you are going to complete page 653, numbers 1 through 12. So be sure you get this recorded in your notebook. If you want to use colored crayons or map colors, be careful with markers because they can bleed through. But if you want to use the colors to color your circles, you are welcome to. Make sure you get all this information down into your math notebook, and I will see you tomorrow.